Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at all three of the first LEGO Star Wars 4 Plus sets, what previously would have been known as Junior sets. So these are designed for the youngest kids who are able, from a manual dexterity and safety standpoint, safety regulation standpoint, to use regular LEGO system pieces. I'm going to start with this A-Wing Starfighter set, um, partly because it was the one that I was personally least interested in, or at least had the lowest expectations for. Regardless, as always, I will do my best to be fair when looking at these, and I will consider, of course, the age group that they are made for, starting with this look at the figures with the A-Wing pilot on the left, who isn't given a name in this set, and C-3PO on the right. Well, this is a good start. <laughs> these are both very good-looking figures to me. Uh, I think Lego pretty much always does a great job, especially these days, on Rebel pilots. Uh, the things that could have been improved are just in the realm of opacity, or the, the thickness of the paint that they put on there. You know, that white that's printed onto the legs especially, should have been brighter, should have matched the hip piece there, but the designs look really good, the helmet looks really good to me, there's a ton of detail in the C-3PO as always, he could have used a uh, dual molded leg on one side, still, but, you know, this is just kind of the, the current state of the art for these. Uh, the, the helmet there has print all the way across the top, and I do want to open this up to show you that there is no alternate face, which is maybe a little bit of a disappointment, but I think that main face is perfectly fine, because it's, it's serious, but it's not angry. You know, I think it just works. Switching over to the A-Wing itself, I went ahead and put the pilot in there so you'd see how he sits. This is based around the exact same main piece, what they call a quick start piece, for the fuselage and the wings such as they are, as is used in the 4 Plus set for the Lego Movie 2, where they made Benny's spaceship. So this whole gray thing here is all one piece. And it's actually a much better piece than I expected in advance, because it has some depth, it has these inverted slope segments to them, or to it, and I don't know, I just feel like it adds more depth than I was expecting. Most of the pictures showed this from the top, and it kind of looked like it was just going to be a flat pancake. It is definitely a little bit lacking in height, but it does have enough depth, and there's just something about these, especially the inverted slope parts on the sides, or sections of that on the sides, that really help this for me. It makes it feel more like an actual proper spaceship. Now they've got these landing skids down here at the back, but they don't have anything at the front to match it. And so that's why when you saw this at first, it looked like it was leaning forward. It would be nice to have just one more piece included in the set, but I'm sure most folks who are into Lego are gonna have one piece to put under there to keep it level. Just a regular brick of any type will work. These are nice, they're relatively new, not new new, but you know, they've been out for a while, but as, as Lego pieces go, they're relatively new. First introduced for A-Wings and used here again to good effect. This is a nice little Junior's car piece, part of a, uh, you know, like the, the rear window and roof line. And I think that fits in there very well. I was surprised to see that part. I hadn't recognized it in photographs, but it adds a nice shape to the back of this. The engines, I think, look fine. You got your lasers over here, which you're able to rotate up and down. No indication of them actually firing anything, you know, would have been nice to get some transparent pieces to stick onto the ends of these. I think that would have made a little bit more sense for kids. No stickers in a 4 Plus set, so that's a print. That's a print. Here's a duplicate print over here and inside the cockpit. Open this up. That's print right there. Nothing new there, but these side ones and this front one, those are definitely new. Uh, overall, this is very swishable. And, you know, kids at the age of four to five don't need absolute accuracy, collector-level accuracy. Um, I think that from many angles, this already looks really good. It's mostly the angles that I saw at first that I didn't like because of how sunken it is right here. That just feels awkward to me, how, how the, you know, this just goes down in here. But seeing it in person, holding it in person having the depth and thickness of the base piece really helps helps me. So I think that as a toy for kids four or five or maybe six or so, this is totally successful. It is more than fine. And then as a side build, they have this little bit of terrain and you could consider it to be a little piece of a base. 
outside, I don't know, this really does nothing for me. Uh, the most exciting thing here to me is this. I, I loved these things as a kid, having an actual tool rack like that, I think is great. Having a place to put it is cool. I think the printed little stripe piece is nice as well, but this back here overall just doesn't really do anything. That's a pretty big piece and probably was pretty expensive. I think they would have done better using that part of the, the piece budget to make the A-Wing just a little bit more detailed maybe, or give it that front strut. Next, this one is TIE Fighter Attack, and this relies extraordinarily heavily upon preformed specialized pieces, which is interesting how it ends up working. They actually made these, you can call them wings if you want, solar panel, radiator panel pieces, new just for this. They fit existing shapes of previous Lego wedge plate parts, but it's all done together. So all the black here, plus a connection for the inside, which is actually technique related, I'll show you in a minute. That's all one piece, and then most of the fuselage is one as well. But first, again, let's look at the figures. On the left is the TIE Fighter pilot, and on the right is a generic Rebel Trooper. Now, I'm, I acknowledged early on that this is not a collector's set or anything of the sort, but these are collector grade figures, if you ask me. Just my personal opinion. I, today, I do not uh, intentionally collect Lego Star Wars minifigures, but I used to collect both original and re-release and follow-on or reboot uh, 2.75 inch figures from Star Wars. So I, I have that feeling. I, I understand kind of the, the collector drive for Star Wars figures. And if I was still into it today and I was doing it for the the Lego stuff, I would want both of these. That's a very good looking TIE Fighter pilot, well detailed, well produced. And the Rebel Trooper, very massable. I would want to have lots of those. I don't mind the fact that it doesn't have any print for the legs. I think a little bit of print for the hip piece would have been a plus, but overall it's just a great looking figure and the type that I just would want to have a lot of. That is a separate visor piece in black there that you put onto the helmet does not actually come down. It just adds the stripe there. I think both of these look great. What about that TIE Fighter then? Well, as I mentioned, these wing type things are mostly one piece each. You just add on the little gray bits on the outside for, for the looks and you attach them with Technic pieces towards the inside. So these can be pulled off and here the, the connector actually came off with it but sometimes that doesn't happen sometimes it does there you can see how the connection is done it's very simple makes it very very easy to assemble now most of the fuselage is also one piece if i just pull this up you can see all that light gray down here is all one piece this is all one you can see that you know really most of most of the build of this is already done before you put it together but it's still I think a satisfying building experience and a genuine building experience for younger kids. Putting myself into the younger kid mode, being very impatient, wanting to get this thing together, and wanting to start playing with it, flying it around immediately. I get it. And I think that the amount of time that you have to put into this is appropriate. Those two things right there with the clips on them can be used to hold minifigure accessories, which is actually pretty smart. And I went ahead and put the figure in there already. The green pieces are weird to me. I think those could have been just red or, I don't know, something else. Maybe even like a dark tan or something. Just something a little bit less obvious. But when you bring down the canopy, they're really not that obvious. Nice printed piece, existing part there. But, you know, this is very simple. But it's easy enough to get the person in and out. If you have any trouble with it, pull up one arm and pull them out by the arm. If you have even more trouble than that, just take the entire roof off. It's very simple since it's mostly one piece and a very old piece at that. A part that was used in the very first Lego Star Wars sets to good effect. Uh, the wings are very flimsy feeling the way that they attach because the Technic pin pieces or the part the Technic pin parts of the connectors uh, are designed with no friction so they have a lot of, a lot of wiggle room within them. But it's not, it's not really bad, but it could be better. I wish that those snapped together a little bit better so it would feel just a little bit more, a little bit more serious. Right now, just, I can hear the wings wobbling, which is a little bit 
unsettling to me. They're not going to fall apart, so durability is perfectly fine for the sake of play, and uh, some kids will enjoy being able to strike a hit against this thing and just go in there and just pop a wing off and then just spin around and crash. You know? So you can, you can kind of see it as a feature if you want, but that's being, that's being generous, I think. The side build for this set is considered a little piece of a remote rebel command station, though you could also, if you want, see it as being uh, on, on a ship or in a base. You know, use your imagination there. Uh, nice printed piece here. Always <laughs> great to get more prints, and that is a fully transparent part underneath. Printed piece there is just an existing piece. These just represent little storage containers, boxes, really. There's two pieces, but they actually look good. That combination of of uh of colors especially i think is is effective and this is good stuff to have around you know they don't have enough things like that as simple as they are in just regular sets anyway i got your little communication dish there and you can rotate that around you can also separate this out and if you want you can put these there instead you know there's there's nothing special to this no action features involved in this set whatsoever which is actually a little bit surprising to me that they didn't put like a disc launcher, a single one on the underside of the TIE Fighter so that you could shoot at at least these boxes and knock them over or knock this over because it's, it's pretty easy to do. And finally, the large one, X-Wing Starfighter Trench Run. So this is for your attack on the Death Star, the Death Star 1 in Star Wars the movie, now known as A New Hope. I actually probably shouldn't have these on there. They're just extra pieces that you can shoot out. But again, let's look at the figures first. Here we get Luke Skywalker himself as Rebel Pilot and a Stormtrooper, single Stormtrooper. Uh, the Luke print for the legs has a little bit of issue just underneath the round area. you got a couple of gray straps there that aren't printed fully. But overall the design is very good and here you do get a nice print going through the hip piece for the, the belt area. They have a new helmet available for Rebel pilots, but they've not used it here, which is interesting to me. Uh, I don't, I don't know the reason for that, but this one does look perfectly fine to me. It actually looks great. Another great-looking pilot figure from Lego comes with his lightsaber because he's Luke Skywalker, and kids want Luke Skywalker or any Jedi to have at least one <laughs> lightsaber. The stormtrooper, speaking of helmets, does have the new helmet which is brand new for 2019. It's dual molded with white and black plastic and then additional printing on top of that. Uh, from some angles, it looks fantastic. From some angles, it looks a little bit weird. And I, w I am gonna do a separate video covering just a comparison between that and other versions and also the, the actual movie versions. You're not really able to turn this head side to side more than about one degree or so like that, but the original one wasn't able to move very much either. Uh, the prints around the back are okay, a little bit thin for the white for Luke. There's his alternate face though with the visor up. No alternate face for the Stormtrooper because as always he is just angry clone. And then lastly we do get an R2-D2 in this set, although he's not able to fit into the X-Wing this time around, but it is a full regular R2-D2. Uh, you know, they didn't make a, a special Juniors or 4 Plus version of him. I actually got fairly lucky with this one. The head print isn't too bad. Oftentimes the, the lower ring goes way up on one side and way down on another. It's, it's a little bit off here, but not too bad. Probably one of the better ones that I've gotten. And uh, no matter who is unhappy with it, the robots of Star Wars are very popular. So it makes sense for them to continue to make them, to offer them up for potentially new customers. For the X-Wing, the quick start piece, the big large part, is used for the entire length of the fuselage. Everything basically beneath this stripe right here, which is a printed piece, everything beneath that in white is all one piece and goes all the way back to the back. Could have been done with multiple pieces, but this makes things much simpler and gets brings kids to success much more quickly. And it's also very durable. It's not going to fall apart. You don't need a whole bunch of inside pieces to, to keep it sturdy. So that's a print there. That's a print there. Matching print on the other side. And then these stripes on the wings are prints as well. This one is a little bit better than I expected it to be. 
to actually have it in my hand and to like fly it around. The one thing that I do not like about this is the open cockpit on the sides and the fact that it has this very narrow canopy piece. Uh, just the area around the cockpit looks weird to me. And also it's a little bit short at the back, you know, a little bit stubby at the back. But most of it is pretty good and the whole S-foil thing, one click, one click, one click. Oops, I went two there. There we go. Oh, I accidentally went two on this one as well. There we go. Okay. One click on each and your S-foils are locked into attack position, which looks great really easy to do. Uh, the only problem here is that it's, it's easy to get it all off. Although, is that really a problem? Is this not something potentially interesting? I actually think it is. This is my first time actually doing that, going too far with it. I've gone too far this time. Uh, but I don't mind it. Hmm. Okay. What if I do this? Is that a thing? Eh, it's not as good of a thing. What if I do this? Is that a thing? That's a better thing. Yeah, okay, well, it gives you some options there. You don't get that with with most of them. I guess that can be cool. It's just that, uh, oh, wow, hey. Hey, that's a thing. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so the the negative of this that I was trying to get to is the fact that if you're not careful, you can very easily get it accidentally into a situation where it looks wonky or it just looks weird. Like, what? That's not how I want it. That's not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> you know, like that. So it doesn't just go between closed and open position. But you do get these other options, these additional options for other ways to pose it. Oops, that was my mistake. I just pushed on that with the side of my hand. I think that the durability of this is is fine for for what it is those are the things that will fall off the most easily but it's pretty obvious but yeah having those additional options for other ways to pose it i think i think is actually a good thing so the more i look at it the more i play around with it the more i'm actually satisfied with that and i like the engines the use of these these particular wheels that they went with i think is smart and they have a single clip on the back to hold on to the lightsaber so Luke is able to fly to his destination, jump out, grab his lightsaber, and go. You don't need to leave that somewhere else where it's going to get lost, as oftentimes happens with kids' toys and accessories that are very small. He has a printed console piece there. That's good. Yeah, pretty good toy, actually. And then here's the side build, which is much more substantial than the ones in the other sets. A little bit of the Death Star here. Uh, you can see it as... Partially interior, you can see it as partially exterior. You, know, you can see this as the exterior and this the interior. You can see it the other way around. Just uh, turn the turret whichever way you want. But I think it makes sense to leave this side open so that this right here is a target. You know, it's a, a generator or a fuel cell that's that's used to power this. You know, just kind of setting the scene. So the X-wing would want to come in and try to fire at that. Or you could fire at these things. Of course, the, the X-Wing itself does not have anything that will actually shoot, but, you know, use your imagination, bring the X-Wing through and hit these. I mean, they're on jumpers, so it's very easy to do. That's on a jumper as well. It's very easy to knock it off and to create some, some resettable destruction. Simple builds, you know, you don't need anything fancy. Got a little print right there. The turret actually is able to shoot. Now, you're able to turn these barrels up and down it will rotate this thing around a full 360 degrees and it has a disc shooter in it actually it probably should have turned it this way huh yeah that's actually the way it's supposed to be my bad but it's all the same you know you need to be able to access this from back here so yeah it's a disc shooter and it only fires straight you know there's no elevation control for this so if you want to be able to shoot with this at the x-wing you're going to either need to make low passes with the X-Wing, or you're going to need to angle this back, which is not that big of a deal. This is all one piece down here, kind of a quick start base itself. But it would have been nice to be able to angle this forward and back, you know, just on a, a single swivel. But you just push against the disc at the back and fires one off, and they have two spares included in the set. And that's it for that. I don't like the look of the turret myself. 
and again I do wish it was able to turn up and down but all this stuff down here is good and this is a good use of these pieces this time around you know adds a, a good Star Wars feel to it at the end of the day I think these are all fine sets fine toys especially for the target age ranges each has its shortcomings but I feel like none of those shortcomings turn any of these into bad sets that I would recommend against. I do feel that the prices are just slightly high, at least the recommended retail prices. Feel to me just slightly high, but not even at the $5 range, you know, of, of overpricedness. Uh, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't balk at the suggested prices, and I don't feel I could reasonably ask for them to be $5 US less each. Uh, just looking at the volume of stuff that you get here. So overall, I feel like they're pretty successful. Could have been a little bit better, but for what they are, they, they do the trick. They do their job. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments about any of these or all of them, feel free to share down below. I did a build video for all of these together also, so you can check that out on my build channel if you want. I'll talk to you again soon.